and welcome back to another one guys man today i got something really really nice uh some of you guys have done the yeti some of you guys have done what is it, the blue snow cone thing <laughs> um yeah i got something pretty nice now as always i always say make sure you guys do check the description below if you guys are interested in this stuff i typically get like a few of these maybe one maybe two but if you want the one i have in my hand shoot me an email rawhouse entertainment at gmail.com i always try to hook you guys up with a really sick deal here so this is the rocket torch it is insane 24-bit audio quality zero latency dual condenser capsule reactive rgb three selectable pickup patterns uh this thing looks really nice so rocket turtle beach you guys have been doing some amazing amazing stuff here um, it is boom arm compatible, so sorry, I'm like knocking my desk here. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to hook it up, and I'm actually going to test it against this mic, which is the Rode Shure SM7B. Now, this is the best mic, hands down, no questions asked, on the market. A lot of podcasters, YouTubers... Um, a lot of people that are just announcing things, newscasters, like so many people use this mic because of how good it is. Now, it isn't cheap. <laughs> so we are going to be comparing a very expensive mic to the Rocket Torch. Now, the Rocket Torch, I know the you guys are going to first thing is, is ask, how much are we talking about here? So first off, before I even do anything, the Sure mic and again, the best of the best out there on the market today. Um, it isn't that bad of a price right now. Typically, it's about 500 bucks, and it looks like they have it listed for $399. Um, podcast ready, radio, TV. It's It just, this guy just works, guys. It just. Now, with this mic, um, as you can see, it, it does have a connection here, and you do have to transfer it. I have a cloud lifter. I have it on the road. Caster Pro Mixer. And I have a converter that goes to the computer. It's just, it's just a lot. It's a hot mess to get this guy to work. Not easy. Um, but here is, and again, price difference is big time difference. $99.99. So about two, three hundred dollars off. Rocket Torch Studio Grade USB, which is plug and play. So this is comparable to your Yeti. Uh, this is comparable to the Blue. A lot of people want to know how this thing works with, uh, you know, in comparison to some of the best, more expensive mics out there. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. So very interested in what these guys have to offer because these guys have so much quality and you don't have to break the bank so here you go there is the mic itself pretty pretty nice now the one thing i will say is uh you do get uh usb c to usb c so this just depends how you're going to connect it to um you get a longer usb c usb c cable and then usb c to uh the standard usb and this will be for your computer so i'm guessing depending on how you're connecting this thing that's how you're going to do it now here it is the first thing i have to say is is this thing feels very very premium now as you can see this thing is just a beast now i'm guessing this is going to be where the rgb is going to be at um you could do your looks like there's different types of patterns how you could use the the mic so all the way around, just halfway, sides are just off. So feels premium. Even this feels premium. Now, if you do push this, this will mute it. You could also turn it all the way down or you could turn it all the way up. Very nice and easy. You also have your gain. Again, same thing. How loud do you want this thing to, to pick you up? And we're, we'll see what this thing is. Probably going to just say like line or where how it's connected to. Now, here's your ports. This looks like it's just going to be the different RGBs. This looks how the looks how much it's going to be picking it up. That's going to be USB-C. That's going to be coming in. And then the other one coming out, standard USB. 
see and i think this is gonna be going and i actually i'm not sure what that one is i'll probably be reading the manual then this looks like if you want a headphone jack it also has a usb c right here so lots of different plugins where you could connect everything to so there is also a sensor i'm just reading the the book here there's also a sensor here at the top if you want to do a mute function you just scan over that's kind of cool uh yeah, pretty neat. You could you could use this or you could use this con contactless. That's pretty neat. And it does look like you could actually twist this entire thing off. And there you go. So pretty nice and easy. So super cool how they have a lot of this stuff here that how you could set it up. If you want to take this off and put it to your your boom, you could easily do that just like that. Now, just depending on how you're doing it, that's how you're going to have it set up. So this is going to come to here so you're going to connect this to there and then that's going to come here this will connect it to the base and the reason for that is because if you want to take this off um and you could just connect this directly to wherever you're wanting so we're going to be using this base and then we're going to use this guy connect it from here and go straight to the usb uh to the computer to see how this whole thing works so let's go ahead and we're going to come here i was just looking at the roadcaster so with the roadcaster uh i need a dslr i think it's what it's called i need just you know one of these special types of cables that go in and this one does not have anything like that now i do have something else that i could try to rig it on but we want to use the actual base on this thing so base meaning the base of what this what it's holding so i'm going to use this whole cable and I'm going to plug it into the computer and let's check this guy out. Now, real quick, before I do do that, uh, one thing to notice is this little cable. It does have a little design right there. So hopefully you guys can see that and it will match up to where you need to put it. So, for instance, I had it actually plugged into uh, the base right here, but this uh this thing is saying like, nope, it actually needs to go to this one over here. So this is where the mic goes in. So mic goes into that one right here. And then the one right next to it will go to the computer. So let's do that here. This will go into the mic. And then this is the computer. And that's what that little square thing was, which I was kind of like, what is that? And it's funny because it does have a little design right there. And you just follow the design. Now, once I do plug it in, there you go. Made, made a little noise and it's picking everything up and the light is on. So when you do plug stuff like this in, you want to give it a moment and give it a moment for everything to read, download, whatever it needs for your computer to pick it up. Um, you see the little rocket right there glowing. Pretty cool stuff. Now, if I do click that button back here, it shows a little brightness. So I'm guessing... The more you push it, the brighter it gets. So, or you can just turn it off completely. Pretty cool how that works. Now, when I do hit that volume thing right here, uh, it, it actually controls the volume for my computer. I know it's hard, kind of hard for you guys to see it because well, you guys can't see it, but I can actually see my computer volume, my rocker going up and down. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so the gain is going to be what's picking up for my voice. Um, and then we'll test out all the different patterns here. So let's go ahead and let's see if we could add this into the, the deck. So before I do that right now, I'm just going to be testing this out. One, two, three, four, five. This is from this mic right here. All right. Um, and as you can see, when I hit it, you guys, I don't know if you guys could hear any kind of click sound. Um, there's no like like everything works really good where it muffles sounds um and that's pretty cool <laughs> when you're when i click on this thing it has a little red that shows muted and this thing turns muted now if i click that volume again it un unmutes and this thing starts changing colors pretty neat pretty neat pretty neat there so okay i'm gonna switch it over to the other mic in three two one and check check that out this is uh so I guess this isn't no longer picking me up, but as you can see, it says right here, it says live, everything turns blue. Now with the patterns, I'm gonna go to
goes on, I'm not going to. It kind of mutes everything, which is kind of interesting. So when you turn it on, that's what it does. So when I turn it on here, I'm just going to go around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to try the next one. Looks like it's just going to be a different type of uh, way it captures it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I have a third option. So I'll turn it over and it switches colors. It's pretty neat. Every time you switch a different one, it goes to a different color. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now you do have a gain. So I'm gonna go the gain all four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I'm gonna I have it right now fully cranked up. Now the one thing that's actually pretty neat is is if you can see this thing when I turn it up the gain all the way up if I turn it all the way down so pretty neat so right now I have it right in the middle now it does have some like an option here for I think it's like loudest quietest something like that like so I'm gonna do it uh, on the lowest level one two three four five one two three four five I'm gonna go to the middle that's the middle right there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the loudest possible. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So pretty neat. I'm gonna switch it over to that first setting that I had. I think this is very cool how it sets it all up like that and how everything is right here. How do I sound? I'm gonna go ahead and click on this thing. I'm gonna I'm just you know I'm gonna click on the base and my thing seems like it's picking up something so hopefully I'm not too loud and hopefully it's not too annoying uh, let me switch over to my regular mic and that'll be the roadcaster now when I do do that you're gonna see the live down here and you're gonna see all this like just change color so I'm gonna go ahead and do that in three two one switched over so it just changed color and it no longer says live it's pretty neat how i just switch it over like that and then of course just unplug it and unplug it and you should be good to go the great thing about this thing is you could plug this into pretty much whatever so i know there is a way to connect this thing to the roadcaster um there is adapter cables you'll probably have to get like some sort of booster um but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do I sound clear? Is it clean? Um, how is it comparable to this mic, which, you know, you really shouldn't compare that type of mic with this mic. It's just, it's, 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 it's yeah, <laughs> like, like this, the mic on this thing is a little bit different and the way you set it up and control it and everything is just really different. So I hate to compare the two, but how does it sound like? Does it still sound pretty good? Uh, does it sound like a radio? Does it sound clean? Is it clear? Um, I like those options that are just, for me, I think the simplicity on this thing is just, everything is right there on that base. You just boom, boom, boom. You don't need a mixer. It's right there with it. With my Rodecaster, I've done reviews on this thing. And this thing is, look at that. It's, it's, it's a monster. It's a beast. There's a lot of things to do that you have to like make sure it sounds good and some of the compressing is already done on the board. Um, but again, you gotta pay for this, then you gotta pay for that. And then now you're talking about over a thousand dollars easily. And with something like this, hundred bucks and you have a little board, simple, everything works, plug and play. I, yeah, that's all I had to really, really do. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment. How did it sound? And yeah, if you guys are interested on the on the mic, make sure you guys shoot me an email. I also have a description below. That way you guys can get hooked up with the latest and greatest stuff. And with all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.